Hello guys, JRTV here. So I'm wanting to express some cultural uh, norms around sexuality and uh, specifically references to uh, breast size, penis size. I don't think they're politically correct, but I want to examine it and reassure people uh, that of all of our humanness and uh, what to do uh, regarding these issues. You know, because uh, they, they, it can come up and it can, you know, the human mind, you know, we have these proclivities and desires and interests for a certain body or money or whatever. Uh, and, and so we should transcend that. Uh, but in a way that we're, we're wanting, want, want people to want what they want. So don't want people to pretend to like you or, you know, don't. And just think, concentrate on you and your dream mate, what he or she would would want uh, with you, and and not not to be, you know, focusing on other people, their body, their their relationships, their, you know, these ideas of, to, and pornography. Like you wouldn't want to be with those people in pornography, and and in, in Hollywood where all these these. De, you know, whatever you want to call it, deviations, or kind of trying to offer a, a perfect image of a person when everybody's unique and flawed, and so just knowing what you want. Uh, I'm going to play this song, it's it's called, uh, it's by the group, it's called City Girls, uh, Run the Bands Up, and they make a reference, they talk about uh, a Big Dick Baller which is funny because balls as well uh, but they, they also say stuff like I'm a classy hood rat and it just this, is, this isn't any trying to break down their like I, I would like people to do as they may so it's I'm not trying to uh, you know work through and psychoanalyze they, them as individuals or as, as artists but I'm just saying that that's that's what the lyrics feature and uh, you can you can hear it here so that's the effect of it and you know, on first glance, when you hear stuff like that in music, or you hear these uh, breasts or penis references in in Hollywood type of, you know, you 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 feel like, well, that doesn't sound right, or some people think it's funny. It's basically an innuendo. I feel it's politically incorrect to to make these references, and it's also incorrect politically speaking to uh, for women to show cleavage or to, for men to show their the bulge uh, their in their crotch I don't I don't feel like like I'm all about what 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 promotes socialization you know the ego might think oh it's having a fancy car da 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 but what promotes socialization is is I feel dressing nicely uh, dressing more formally and so there's not an emphasis on, oh, you know, who's, who's, you know, what, who's, what bodies do you have? It's more an emphasis on, I, I like to dress colorfully, express myself, or not necessarily colorfully, but I just, I express myself. I'm, there's more of an emphasis on the, the clothing than the person's physical body. And, and so... Anyway, here's let's get to the issues here. Um, so, uh, a bigger penis, it's like saying you, you want a smaller vagina. You know, people have lots of, you know, attractions to, be it uh, breasts uh, or variations of, of, of which uh, nipples, you know, body types penis or you know circumcised or not or different vagina types all of that so all that considered most people have a wide 
variants of what they find attractive. Um, I think the idea of making commentary on breast penis size, it's, it's an objectification, and a lot of men have been doing it. In fact, I think it's really men who, who generally are the ones doing that. Um, be, be they talking about uh, men or, or men's bodies or women's bodies, it's often men. Um, you know, the human body is not perfect. I think the vagina is disproportionately larger than uh, the male penis. Uh, I think, you know, women with wider hips, it's easier for them to give birth, but that usually means they have a larger vagina, which makes it easier for childbirth, but maybe less st stimulating during sex. Uh, you know, larger penis is difficult to keep uh, erect, and you know this whole idea of you you know you need to have um, in sexual intercourse in order to see if you're compatible obviously with with women with di with dildos men with how how long they can last how their their penis size these are things that can all be discussed uh, via. Uh, the internet, which is a safe world in that it's not a direct immediate exposure to people and their pheromones and maybe accidentally seducing each other, even if you're marriage oriented. Uh, you know, I, again, you know, sexual stamina and strength, that will, that will always trump, I believe, other aspects like, like actual physical features, uh, you know, there's a, um, the, like, big ass, right, for example, uh, can, can be a distraction to men, um, the, even though it, it's like, it's not an indication of health, you know, it, um, you know, big ass may be like, whoa, visually stimulating, for example, but, um, you know, um, I, I think, I think people should just know what they want. Uh, I think that it's a physical and, and mental burden to, if you, for example, were to have a larger breast or penis size, it just, it's like, a, it's like a, I think, burden that's always there. Um, and. I feel like it's a, it's a queerish thing to reference breast for penis size. It's almost like a harassment. Uh, you know, the trick is is to realize that even if people are inappropriate or misusing their body, you know, you want to have you want them to the best for them. Want them to have a good life and to have a dream mate. You know, people. It's, it's a complete misconception that oh it's masculine or courageous to uh, you know to to pursue multiple partners or it's you know a show of ability it's just a show of lack of pa lack of power and control because you're re neglecting your dream mate no on the other hand, if you don't like your body or its attributes, you can always decline to procreate if given the opportunity, and instead use your energy and money to support a couple who you find physically attractive, such that they can have children, and consequently those their grandchildren could be you in your next reincarnation, if you're following my logic there. Uh, I, I feel like any references to breasts or like anything phallic is, it's just not appropriate. Like even stuff like bananas, whatever, you know, obviously it's, it, it is what it is. It's a food item that's commonly consumed or, you know, there may be these hints at things in, in society that we see, but just to be aware of it and, and not, not, um, not say things like misused words like you might say wow that's 
um, uh, big or whatever, and it or those are nice or, or you know whatever, and people it might get the impression you're referring to penis or breast size. So be careful not to uh, do that. I feel like an emphasis on the vagina and clitoris. I, I consider it like a flower. Like you don't describe a flower by its individual parts. You just consider it a flower. I think it's important to celebrate that. I have this idea of womb worship where people celebrate the woman and the vagina and the, the, the their, their belly and, and stuff like that and just, you know, cuddle with it like a, a you would a, um, a uh, stuffed animal. Uh, let's see, what else? You know, the... Um, the psyche, the, the human psyche sometimes gravitates towards bigger things, um, not just regarding the human body, but also like TVs, whatever. It's, it's, it this can be a distraction and just not useful or practical. Um, you know, and ultimately it's a private issue, no pun intended. You know, if women's, uh, people's penis size, breast size, vagina size, uh, you know, it's a personal private issue. And when somebody makes a joke about it, they're really talking about their personal private, um, what they want it, you know, like, like for example, if somebody says, makes a, a penis joke, they might be secretly hinting that they might be um, um, homosexual. I, I don't know. Um, you know, and the whole, like, uh, BBC, uh, Big Black Cock, or PP, uh, you know, it's like in the real, in the fantasy world, when maybe guys are alone, or women, and they're watching porn, they might be thinking about these things, but in the fucking real world, this, these are not things that are issues of concern, uh, you know, we just want good for our, our fellow person, and, uh, we should also obviously be aware that, People can try to seduce or manipulate each other, but um, you know you have to realize that it's a distraction to think about the um, sex organs in a way, because really it should be thought of as the energy that you and passion that you give to somebody. Do you do you seek pleasure, which leads to destruction, or do you seek to please the person that you love? You know, and, and men, for, don't focus on yourself and hoping the woman will find you attractive. Focus on the woman, want to compliment her, want to compliment her, her pussy, all of that good stuff. And uh, another thing, I think foreskin, it's prime to remove it from the children, boys, leave the foreskin. You know, I think it also has a better aesthetic. You know, like I said earlier, I think most people would want to uh, suck on various vagina, penis, or breasts, or, or nipples, I mean. And so you just want to keep that healthy. You put rub oil around it, you know, olive oil. None of this petroleum crap. And, you know, knead it. Like, for example, it, you know, and if it just is nipple, like, like knead it with the oil and, you know, move it around, get the, get the circulation going. The same with the genitals, you know, you want to, not just masturbation regularly, but you get the idea, um, da -da -da, da -da -da. I think I've got everything about covered here, guys, um, let's see, so yeah, uh, let's see if I have any final conclusions here, As, the idea of envy is only of people who misuse their bodies, You know, it, it, it's 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 women hoping that their vagina feels good, just as much as men might want their penis to feel good for the woman. But that is actually secondary if you're with your dream mate. You know, you, you're with your dream mate. You, you're glad to use toys or whatever, and just please and satisfy and be with each other. You know, that's. Uh, let's see, joy of the dream mate. Da, da, da. You know, the ego wish it was that simple as 
that if you had simple things like money or other specific things like a big ass, like that's the answer. But the fucking reality is there are so many variables in in the human interests that there's no defined thing. Um, I think. I think, yeah, like I said, focus on the vagina. see and remember that sex is uh, like a drug and you treat it accordingly only give it to somebody you really trust because if you're engaging in that pleasurable sensations with the wrong person they could use that to have power over you and of course it's just creating bad memories and waste you know don't think of it as sex think of it as you're giving your energy your passion your soul to somebody who would you do that with i would rather do it with no one until my dream mate uh thanks for tuning in guys this has been 10 ideas to reassure people to there be happy with themselves and be happy for other people too and if this is all in the direction of a more peaceful, civilized, and high-class society. Aloha.